What's up, Print Fam? Welcome back to the Print Shop. You've probably heard all over the internet, all over social media, you gotta use AI with your business. You gotta use AI. What does that really even mean? And what does that mean for a print business? For me, that typically entails vibe coding, which is using a large language model platform like ChatGPT to create code for you. Now, it's helpful to know a little bit about what the code is and how it works, but I wanted to give you one example of how I'm using large language models to code stuff for my business that will help me. This particular use case might not be helpful for you, but there are lots of use cases that you can find it that it is helpful, and I'll give you some of those later on in the video. Quick shout out to firesprint.com for sponsoring today's episode. They have three of these printers and mine is currently being repaired. If you don't wanna to have to deal with the headache of printers, let firesprint.com do it for you. They are a trade only wholesale printer that specializes in yard signs, signs, banners, stickers, and so much more. You can save 10% off by using the coupon down in the description and let them take care of the rest. Most orders ship for free when you spend at least 50 bucks. Thanks, Firesprint. One of my most favorite use cases for code is actually with Google scripts or app scripts as they call them. I can use it to pull data. I can use it to push data. I can use it to grab data. Today, what I decided to do, I use a lot of links for people. I use them to give them the listing to my business. I use it for reviews. I use it for affiliate links in the YouTube videos. And I needed a better way to be able to manage everything, see everything, update everything, but allow other people to do it too. What I decided to do was ask the large language, hey, here is the developer guides for this API. I use short.io. I would like to make a Google script that uses a spreadsheet to be able to update this information. And it, within 30 seconds, popped out some code, said, yep, you can absolutely do that. Here's how you do it. Here's the code. And it was beautiful and it was done. I know a little bit about code, so I was able to change it to suit my needs a little bit better. And it fixed it, it ran, it works, it updates and it makes it really easy for me. Now, I use this for a lot of things. I have inventory of my tumblers, my pens. So on pen.city, if you go there and log in, you can see live inventory. It's using an app script via Google Sheets to update that information in real time because every time we run a job, we put it in the system. And so it automatically deducts the inventory. When we get new orders, we put it in the system so that Spreadsheet is basically what's happening on Penn City is it's looking for the information and it goes to the spreadsheet, pulls the information, and then displays it however I want. I don't know how to do that. I vibe coded it. I do the same thing for my website um, for my local business. I do it for doing thank you cards. I have an email that's sent to myself from my CRM that has the customer's information, their address. I have a Google slide that has the artwork and it has the text boxes that basically what happens is Google script once an hour checks my email. It looks for those specific emails and then it creates the slide and then saves the slide as a PDF and puts it in my Google drive. That way I can print it out and send it off to customers, but it removes a lot of the work. I've also had it write scripts for me in Adobe Illustrator saying this is what I want it to do. Like for the laser, they use EasyCAD. EasyCAD must save as an Illustrator version eight. And sometimes you just forget to do that. So I wrote a script. It uses hotkeys to run it with the actions that are available in Illustrator. And it takes away a lot of the headache and a lot of the work. I have done it to write auto hotkey scripts for the lasers themselves so that the mouse can move around. That one tends to have a lot of input from me because it's not very good at getting screen coordinates. So you go in and say what you want to do and add it and edit it. But having the tool to help assist you to do that is so powerful. So there's different things that you can find in your business. You could have it write you 
a pre-flight script that you could upload files to, that it could add bleed, you could specify what it is, and it can make it for you. That's how I wrote my embroidery estimator that looks at the stitches and guesstimates the stitch count. It was all done with that. I wrote a label maker so I could upload a PDF with a bunch of names in it, or excuse me, an Excel sheet with a bunch of names in it, and it will print them out as PDFs specific for my label maker. There's these repetitive tasks that I was doing that was taking a lot of time and being able to just go in and describe what I want and then get an output that I don't have to really know what's going on is awesome. I highly suggest that you look at it because it's been such a good change for my business to help me get a few tasks off my plate and have more time to do other things like build the business make videos to help you guys, and just grow as a person. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments. I hope this is helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.